that professor omitted some key points, I can teach you more advanced concepts on the topic at my place. Okay, great. There are some concepts of Azure Cognitive Services, like text-to-speech that I don't understand. Focus! <laughs> Let's look at exactly how we created that short introduction. So, you're going to want to navigate to your favorite browser and then navigate to portal.azure.com. Just gonna show you some fancy editing here. Remember to subscribe and like the video. There we go. So, just portal.azure.com and then it'll navigate you to the Azure portal. From the Azure portal, on the search bar here, just click on the search bar, search for cognitive services cognitive services and it'll appear there just click on that particular link it'll navigate you to the cognitive services dashboard from here on the left hand pane you can just navigate to speech service and click on that particular link and on the right hand side you'll see a create speech service button just click on this particular button here you'll be given an opportunity to either create a new resource group via clicking this particular anchor or selecting an already existing resource group i'm just going to select an already existing resource group i'm just going to leave it in the u.s east region for now but you'd want to place this closer to your client base so that they experience the best performance of your particular application. Next, select the name of the instance of your speech services resource. According to your organization's naming standards, select a pricing tier. By default, you get one free pricing tier that you can use however you want with limits on particular services we're just going to use the free service it's good enough for our demonstration of course you can go to view full pricing details just to see uh, more options like the standard option that they have available and you'll realize it's not so costly so if you have more demanding workloads you'd want to consider the standard option that removes the character limit that we have in the free tier click on the next button to go to the networking tab we're just going to include all networks but ideally you should practice selecting particular networks and only entering your particular um ip address public ip address here so that only that particular device can access this particular resource so your resource is not spammed which may result in you incurring extra charges you can just google what is my public ip and it'll give you your public ip address and you can use that in the firewall inbound rule for demonstration purposes, we're just going to leave it as all networks. Click on the next button to go to the identity tab. We don't need managed identities for now. Click on next. We don't need tags. And now we're just going to create this particular resource. That was quite quick. Um, now we're going to navigate to the resource. From the overview tab, and if you scroll all the way down, you'll see under Speech Studio, there's a Get Started link. Just click on it. You'll see that it'll redirect you to speech.microsoft.com. You can just navigate there directly rather than through the portal. Now from here you'll see we have multiple options like speech to text and text to speech. For our demonstration we're going to be using text to speech. So click on the audio content creation button. 
this is where we're going to enter the text that we're going to need to be read out just click on the new button say text file from the editor you can just type any text and then after typing your text you can select your voice here on the right hand pane um, you can even preview your voice let's say area Artificial intelligence, AI, is revolutionizing the way today's businesses compete and operate. And if you want that particular voice to read out the text that you've typed, click on the play button here. Hello world, how are you? You can actually create conversations in this particular editor as well by mixing different voices. Let me demonstrate this. Let's select a male voice. He waved to acknowledge the crowd, and then he waved again. And if we select a voice for this particular text, and say Davis, and we, if we play the entire sequence, we just had to click away here, and click on the first line that we want the speech to start from, and press play. Hello world, how are you? I'm doing very well, and how are you, Marv? Perfect. So this, as I mentioned before, has a 3000 character limit for the free tier, but you can use this and you can export this. Let me demonstrate it. You can export this to an MP3 even. Export to local disk. Next. We need it in MP3 format. export it the download is completed we're going to play it hello world how are you i'm doing very well and how are you marv there we go we have our mp3 just like that for free powered by microsoft azure machine learning so you want to teach people but you do not have the confidence or the accent or the articulation to bring your message across well microsoft azure text to speech is exactly what you want and by the way this video is not sponsored by microsoft <laughs> you can change the speaking style to whispering or excited or sad or cheerful or shouting one friendly and these voices are very natural sounding. That professor omitted some key points. I can teach you more advanced concepts on the topic at my place. Okay, great. There are some concepts of Azure Cognitive Services, like text-to-speech, that I don't understand. With intuitive highlighting, you'll know exactly which text is being spoken. You can increase and decrease how fast the voice is by modifying the rate. Let me make an example. Let's say we set it to 2, confirm, processing, done. If we play it again. That professor omitted some key points. I can teach you more advanced concepts on the topic at my place. Just like that and it works. So you can just adjust this to whatever rate you want. That professor omitted some key points. I can teach you more advanced concepts on the topic at my place. Awesome. So let's just set it to something more natural sounding. Cool. Now we can change the pitch as well, whether we want it to be baritone or make it very sopranish. Sopranish. Okay, that's probably not a word, but you get the point. That professor omitted some key points. I can teach you more advanced concepts on the topic at my place. Wow. <laughs> that sounds like a hacker. Moving on, you can adjust the volume as well as you please. And that just works. 
you can modify items like intonation to fine tune how that speech is actually articulated but we won't go into advanced topics for now so yeah go out there make videos teach the world remember to subscribe and like the video and put a comment in the comment section